let's harvest a salad for dinner and give you an update on the garden. We are five weeks into my small space balcony garden for food and flowers. Growing joy. Hello, plant friends. I'm so excited to be making this update for you because it's garden update time. Last time I saw you planting up this garden, it was day one. We have had so much growth. There's been an insane heat wave in New York. So we have some bolted plants. We have some plants ready for harvesting. And I'm making dinner with my husband for date night tonight. And I'm going to pick an entire harvest of salad from this small humble balcony garden so i wanted to walk through and show you what we've got growing but let's start over here um our experiment with these little things from amazon has been okay however i am seeing some crisping and death of some of the plants that we've put in here because they need watering. I have a lot of my planter of uh, my plants in self-watering planters. We left for 10 days. We've traveled. So if you don't get rain, this has been an issue because I haven't been watering very consistently, but we still have um, the mint hasn't been very happy. However, I will say it's been magical to have planted these morning glories that have started trailing across the balcony. You can see that here. You can see this here. Um, and it's so fun to see the blooms in the morning. My cut flower garden is going amazing. I've already harvested three different bouquets that I've gifted to people. It's been like the highlight of my summer being able to share my, uh, harvests with people over here. Um, our amazing tomatoes. We don't have any ripe tomatoes here. This is the Husky red cherry tomato. It's not quite ready yet but we do have some salad. So the way that I prune my salad, because this is companion planting and intensive planting, I wanna take the outer rim of all of the different salads in order to make the plant smaller so they can just keep growing in that cut and come again. So I'm not gonna go and like cut a whole head of salad. I'm gonna take leaves off of the outside of all of the different salad plants that I have. So let's go in here and get a little bit of this gorgeous lettuce. Then we're gonna look over here. I'm so excited because our Kitchen Minis Quick Snack Cucumbers are growing like gangbusters and it's already time to harvest our first couple. So for our salad today, get a load of this sucker. Bam! This is a full mini cucumber ready. I mean, do you need more than this much cucumber in a salad, in a leafy green salad? No, so here we go. I think, do I have a second one? Yes, I have two vines. And I have another big one. So we're going to take two little baby cucumbers. Mm. You hear that crunch on my microphone? So delicious. So cucumbery. And then this little, um, this is called Tiny Tim Lettuce. We've had a lot of this grow in. So I'm going to go through and thin this out so that the Tiny Tim Lettuce doesn't crowd out the rest of this planter. This was the Micro Dwarf Companion Planter that we had a whole video for. It's doing so well. It's been so prolific. And something even more exciting is plant friends. We have our first tomatoes ready to harvest. Come on in. These are the Kitchen Minis Red Velvet Tomatoes. This is the entire tomato plant. I don't understand how it's possible, but I'm going to take the two red ones. Thank you so much for your abundance. I appreciate you. So I'm gonna snip some of these violas because we can actually put them in the salads. They attract pollinators, so I'm not gonna cut all of them, but I'm gonna cut some of them because I think it's very sweet when I have dinner with my husband and we have little flowers in our salad. What's sweeter than that in the summer? Okay. Sadly, my cilantro bolted. This has been a bummer. I don't use cilantro a lot when I cook, so it's okay, but the cilantro bolted. So um, one side effect of this bolting cilantro, it is the most gorgeous flower arrangement flower. So as I've been making my mini arrangements for friends and family, as I've gone to know, you know parties or whatever, or gifted them for birthdays, I've, been, I've left this to flower so the pollinators can enjoy it. And then I snip a couple of the flowers off it's not the greatest scent, but it's a really beautiful flower, um, and it it kind of fills out a bouquet really beautifully. So once again, I'm going to harvest and pinch the outside leaves. I'm not going to take a whole plant. I'm just going to take the outside leaves to keep the plant small. Whoops. And um, take a few leaves from each plant so that you get that kind of cut and come again experience with your lettuce. Now. 
oopsies, I did take this whole plant. Um, let's come over to the micro dwarf tomato experience because we've got a lot of micro dwarf tomato plants popping off. This one looks almost ready. This is the golden hour micro dwarf tomato plant. Um, we have tomatoes on this one. This plant, we have no tomatoes yet, but we have a ton of flowers. This is the Chibico cherry tomato. We have a cucumber over here, and then we have some tomatoes on that one. Let's see. We have tomatoes on both of these. I can't see what the labels are, but I'll find the labels offline and add them to the video. We have tomatoes not yet ready to harvest, but these are the Tidy Treats tomatoes. So many little tomatoes on such a tiny plant. These micro dwarf tomatoes are just incredible. And as you can see, this is another one of our mini cucumber plants. Like, look at how cute a mini cucumber is. <laughs> can we even talk about that? These are actually apparently really delicious. Let me do a taste test right now. The flowers are also edible. So yeah, this tastes like cucumber. And I'm going to throw the flower in my salad. Um, we can also, for edible flowers, put a few of these nasturtium flowers in. These are edible. They're also amazing for the hummingbirds. The hummingbirds have been all up in these all up in the business of nasturtium lately. The hummingbirds have also been enjoying the snapdragons, which we're going to leave. Um, something that matches my outfit today, the borage has totally popped off. Can you see that gorgeous blue flower? Beautiful companion plant. It also tastes like cucumber. I've been meaning to harvest this. I'll probably snip it here. I'll boil a bunch of water, put this in boiling water, make a tea, and then ice it down. And it's this like really refreshing cucumbery taste. And borage is a wonderful, really supportive herbal um, treatment for your nervous system. So I'm excited to have some calming tea. This is our sun golds, which are also growing. You can see we have so many tomatoes coming in over here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, just on one branch. And then my gorgeous cut flowers. Another exciting thing, which I kind of can't believe, is I put one of those kitchen minis in this little guy. I mean, this is a tiny little pot, and I've got four tomatoes ready for eating. Let's do a taste test. This is the kitchen minis. Red velvet, I think. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. That little tomato pack, such a punch. Holy moly. This is the kitchen minis. Red velvet, yum. And it's so little, but like, who needs more than cherry tomatoes for a salad, right? This is like my favorite thing to do all summer. We have lemon balm coming in. We have more morning glories. Um, we have some lettuce over here that I'm. This lettuce has sadly gotten a little too crispy. This heat wave really did us did us dirty. But that's the garden for now. So it's been so fun to see, you know, all these plants we planted as little babies totally burst into their fuller expression, not fullest expression yet. I can't wait to keep harvesting from this for many salads to come all summer. And I hope this tour was fun and helps you keep growing joy.